Earth is getting a second moon for a limited time. Astronomers say an asteroid will come close enough to Earth to temporarily enter its orbit at the end of the month. Let's bring in astrophysics professor Adam Frank from the University of Rochester for more. Adam, what can you tell us about this so-called mini-moon, and how does this work? Yeah, so um, the idea here is that the solar system, which we think of as being pretty chill, uh, you know, just planets going around in circles forever, is actually pretty chaotic. And there's a lot of asteroids uh, and comets flying around, and it's pretty pretty um, dynamic in a lot of ways. And what we're having here is a asteroid, which is basically a flying mountain in space that, that uh, usually orbits close to the Earth or orbits in the same um, distance from the sun as the Earth, and it's getting captured by the Earth's gravity, and it'll be part of the Earth-Moon system. It'll orbit the Earth for maybe about two months, and then it'll get flung back out. So we get a little teeny tiny little moon for about two months. Okay, so how, how close are we talking when we say this asteroid is coming into Earth's orbit? Do we have to be worried about this? No, no, not at this point, luckily, because uh, if something this size were to hit the Earth, you know, it would be a, an apocalypse of... Uh, you know, <laughs> of a biblical kind. So really here, what we've got is something that's at about the moon's orbit or so. It's about that that kind of distance. So in no way is it going to get close enough to uh, threaten us in any way. But, you know, the important thing here, here is, is that we watch the skies. Astronomers are spending a lot of time trying to catalog these classes of asteroids to make sure that we understand where all of them are. Because if any were to get close enough to the Earth, we'd be thought there was a possibility of hitting us, we'd have to figure out how to divert it or do something to it to keep it from uh, striking the Earth. So will we be able to see it? Do we need a, a telescope or any special eyewear, or can you see it with the naked eye? Yeah, it's pretty small, so you're not going to be able to see it with the, the naked eye. You're going to need a telescope. Even then, it may be uh, pr uh, pretty difficult, given its distance. So it's more the idea of it than actually we're getting an extra moon. Because, you know, I've always been a little bit disappointed. One moon in the sky, you know, I really would be better. It would be a much more interesting sky if we had two or three, like some other planets. So, um, sadly, we're not going to get to see this one. All right. Well, Adam, get working on that, will you? We want to we want to see another moon. Working on it right now. Uh, by the way, I think you win the award for coolest Zoom background of any guest we've ever had. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, we've got to be ready. Love it. Astrophysics professor Adam Frank. Adam, thank you.